Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to install a Google Chrome extension during runtime of Selenium web driver test case. So here I have written one small script to load a website with the help of Selenium web driver in Java. So here I have just printed the title of my website, this zoopla.co.uk. So for installing any extension so we need to use chrome options class so how we can use the chrome options class is so here before the instantiation of chrome driver so we need to write these steps as shown chrome options so options is my reference for this chrome options class so new chrome options Okay, so now we need to import the jar that are relevant to Chrome options. So this is the jar that is relevant to the Chrome options. Okay, so now we have options as object reference. So now with the help of this options reference, so here we can see the suggestions add extensions. So this is nothing but the method that helps to install the extension. So here we need to pass the argument which is nothing but a file that is available in the download folder. So here I have one extension. So extension 2090.crx. .crx is nothing but the extension for the Chrome extensions. So this extension is nothing but the extension for selectors hub. Okay. So I am going to install the selectors hub in my, uh, in my Chrome browser during runtime. So here what I need to do is here I need to write like this as new file and inside this we need to mention the location of our extension okay so like this we need to write and then inside the new chrome driver constructor we need to pass this options reference which is nothing but the reference to the chrome options okay so let's run now and these two steps are required to install the extension of uh, selector sub okay so let's run this now so now you can see an extension so if you hover you can see that selector hub refresh the open tab and so it is installed now so this selector sub is useful to write the x path and css path for a web page so i will explain about the selector sub in the coming lectures okay so i'll just close this and suppose if you don't want to use uh, this extension in the iteration or in your execution so just remove it and again if you rerun so you won't see the selector sub in the chrome session so now you can see there is no selector sub icon displaying on my chrome sessions so it means that is not installed at all okay so like this this is one of the way to install the chrome extensions with the help of chrome options that's all for this session i hope you like the video if you like the video please do like and subscribe to our channel and follow us for more interesting updates on selenium automation and your path automation thank you